Good day everyone, I am Andre Lasta and I have a small presentation about image compression using DCT. But before that, I want to discuss signals. So there are four types of digital signals. We have image, audio, video, and other forms of data. Today I'll be focusing more on image. Now, specifically image compression. It is a type of data compression applied to digital images to reduce their cost for storage or transmission. For storage, images are compressed so that they can be stored more easily and in more smaller storage spaces. As for transmission, you want a smaller file size so that your images may reach the destination faster. And there are two types of image compression. First one is lossy compression and then there is lossless compression. Lossy compression degrades data. When you compress the image, um, some data is discarded. So when you decompress it, the overall quality of the image is um, reduced. It also reduces file size drastically. So you can um, expect to get more compression out of lossy compression. Lossy compression is preferred when exact replication of data is unnecessary, such as pictures where you just need to get the gist of the image. You don't need the accurate um, representation of that picture. Now for lossless compression, it is a reversible process, meaning no data is lost when you compress and decompress it. So it only compresses the image by a small amount though. It is um, unlike lossy compression, you can only get small um, effects from lossless compression. And it is preferred for archival purposes when you want your data to be kept intact. So what is lossy compression? It discards data that the human eye cannot perceive. This is especially true in low compression images. But um, in some cases, when you use high compression, you can clearly see the changes due to compression. JPEG is a type that uses lossy compression, and the mathematical formula used for lossy compression is discrete cosine transform. So what is discrete cosine transform? It is a widely used transformation technique in signal processing and data compression. It expresses data as a sum of cosine functions oscillating at different frequencies. In this image here, these are the cosine functions oscillating at different frequencies. Now, in lossy compression, these um, cosine functions are added so that you get the same image. And in order to um, demonstrate this clearly, I will show you to you using GNU Octave. Now here we have our code. We have here the block processing functions for DCT and inverse DCT which will be used for um, compression and decompression respectively. They will be using the image rows 512 by 512. So we have here the heart of the code which is the compression and decompression. We have here the first block proc function reading IM the image the rows 512 by 512 and stores it as an 8x8 matrix and processed using F1, which is the block proc function number 1, the DCT, which is used for compression. Now, here, um, the data will be selected and uh, discarded accordingly. We have here the depth, which will dictate um, to what extent or degree the image will be compressed. So. We have here finding the absolute value of J, the image, processed image, that is less than 150. So if I set this at a higher number, more bits of the image will be discarded. This means that the higher this number is, the more the image quality is reduced. Here we have our second block proc function. It uses the block proc function number 2, F2, which is inverse DCT, decompression. Now, after all of this is done, the image 
is now written as rows 512 by 512 compressed dot bmp and here this displays the before and after of the image now let's run it we have here the code that is now running you can see it is performing its functions and now we have the results figure one is the original image and figure two is the image now undergoing the DCT and DC figure three rather is the image that has undergone compression and as you can see um, some the quality of the image is reduced you can see that the picture is more pixelized here we have our original image the rose 512 and it see a size that is 1 MP and we can check our compressed image it is 768 KB which is significantly smaller this example code that I've shown you is a simplified illustration of how JPEG compression works this code only applies to black and white images RGB images will have a much more complicated code there are many processes involved in JPEG compression and DCT is only one of them. Some of the processes found in JPEG are Huffman encoding and quantization, which is far more complicated. Lossy data compression using discrete cosine transform is an effective way of compressing images efficiently. Compared to lossless compression, it is a quick and easy way of compressing data but losing quality in the process. This is ideal for fields that do not need accuracy in data but only need a general gist of the image. Some examples are video calls where you need quick transmission to reduce latency and small disk sizes where storage space is limited. This is not ideal for when you need accuracy like text messages where your message might not be interpreted correctly and archiving medical records like x-ray and CT scans where small details matter and any loss of data is critical. That is all for this presentation. Thank you for listening. Once again, I am Andre Lasta and I hope you learned something new. Bye.